need to make three. So oh, I need to make three more glass. <laughs> Alrighty. I heard you. Whoa! Jerks. Back to the sand pit. to go to the neither pretty soon guys mm. make a lava pump mm. and if I can get some soul sand and a blaze rod mm. then we can uh, We can uh, make a uh, blaze rod farm. Because that's another thing Pam's Mods does for you. A lot of it's not that useful. Pain in the ass food. But there is a part that is useful. And I will show you guys that when we get to it. Let's see, grab another stack of clay. Oh, that stack that I put away right here. Yep. I don't know why I put the flint in that chest. It should be in there. Sand, gravel, clay, grout. There we go. Definitely need to figure rubber out, guys. In fact, let's go do that while we're waiting here. Let me see if I can get some rubber out of those trees out there. Where's the spider? I can hear him. There he is. Ow! Ow! I'm not very careful with combat. Let's see how many rubber saplings we can get. This is rubber granite. Yeah, it is. Okay. Is there any rubber... rubber taps? No, I don't think so. I think you get more saplings by letting these branches decay naturally as opposed to chopping them down. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those be. I'll come back on my way out of here after I check out these other trees. No rubber traps in the wild trees anymore? Is that a thing, maybe? Did I miss something? Must have. Maybe that was one of the changes, the IC2 changes. You have to replant them to actually get the taps now. Is that how that works? Oh, nope, that's not how that works. All right, Wunderb... Wonder bra. There we go. And the reason I tapped that all the way out is because I'm moving these trees.
so I might as well just go ahead and tap them all the way. This tree, how's your decay coming along? Is there, yep, there's a sapling right there. Make another axe here. It's a hell of a tree. Go down at it from like this. There we go. There's a tap. There's another tap. That's a scary noise. That's creepy cave noise. That means there's creepy caveness around. How many saplings? I've got nine saplings. No, that's glass. I've got five saplings from there. Is there any laying on the ground over here? Not that I can see. Any other decay over here? Yes. Six. Come back and check you again in a minute. Oh, there's one. I saw you fall. Seven. Okay. Well, that's a huge tree. Jesus. There we go. I don't even remember where I saw it. There it is. It's not going away! Wow, I killed that whole tap. Damn. Alright. That should be a good bit of rubber to get us going. 22 rubber. Gonna have to cook up a little bit of it. Because I need enough to get the generator and the extractor going. And a little bit of cable. But the cable and the uh, extractor at least are permanent and I can repurpose them. So it's not going to be a huge waste. I have to waste some of it. I need iron though. How many saplings have I got? Seven saplings? I'd like to get another sapling. Because I don't have nine total trees. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. Alright, I'm happy. <laughs> See how our grouse coming. Actually, let's plant these trees first. What 
wonder why this tree's never grown. I would have thought it would have by now. Alright, that'll be good for now. I think, because I'm just going to be moving it soon. Let's drop these in here. Drop this. No, I can't. I'm out of... Ah, oh, I need more iron! Jeez! Okay. Oh, guys! This is just being terrible all the time. How much iron do I actually have? Did I, I got the 18 iron, didn't I? 20 iron? I'm trying to think that's enough for my purposes. It's probably not. But that's alright. Um... More bricks. Hopefully this is enough bricks. It might not be. Whoops. Jesus. Ah. Uh, man. This is brutal. I can count though at this point we can count so we've put together if you recall we did the first stack which was two sets of grout we did the second stack which was just two sets of grout so that was four stacks that was two stacks of each material one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bricks which is five grout no, it's, sorry ten bricks Oh, it's night time again? God. Um, let me think. 10 bricks, 10, 20, 30, 40 of them total, 20 recipes, 20 of each material. So let's go get 20 more. 20 more sand really quick. Hopefully it's really quick. Ah, angry zombie! Oh my god. Yeah, you burn. You burned to death. There's a zombie over here, too. I need a gravity gun. That's what I need. One, two, three, four. <gasps> oh, God. Luckily, that was a mana creeper. Not an actual creeper. Where did he come from? God, I didn't see him as I flew over here. Oh, my heart. My poor heart. Um, so we have Ars Magica installed. Ars Magica is a magic mod, obviously. And you can use it to make spells and whatever else not. And in the Ars Ma no, no, sorry. I think it's a Natura Creeper. I can never remember. If Xavier were here, he would tell me. Um, it's, either, it's either Natura or it's Ars Magica. One of the two adds it. But uh, you get... From Ars Magica, you get um, you get magic spells, and you can increase your magic level and how much mana you have consequently. And it's one, either it or Natura, one of the other adds the Mana Creeper, which when it explodes doesn't kill you, it drains your mana. And if you play a purely magic character... See, there he is. There's a blue one. That is the Mana Creeper. And he will... When he explodes, he makes that little blue... That right there. It makes a little blue well, and it just drains your mana off. I don't have any mana, so you can't see right now. But, uh... He drains off your mana, and he's a pain in the ass to run into in a group of mobs if you're playing a pure mana creature, pure mana character. 
a pure magic character because all of a sudden you find that you can't cast. And therefore can't defend yourself. So yeah. Twenty of that, twenty of that, and twenty of that. Where's that thirty? That's thirty. There we go. Forty, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixteen. Oh, that'll work perfectly. Okay, let's put the... Yep. Alright, well, those cook up for a second. Uh, I need to plan out my generator. Are you serious right now? Really, any eye? We're going to come up everything that can be burned in a generator? Oh, God. Fine. Do it the hard way. In dust. In Dusty! There we go. Let's find the industrial grab generator. There we are. Iron plates and an iron furnace. Or a basic machine and a battery. This would be eight plates. Force hammer. That might be cool. So that's eight iron. That's five iron. Six, oh, it's eight iron either way. So it's the battery regardless. Okay. And it's also the furnace either way. The battery is going to be an insulated tin cable, so you got to snip that up. Tin hammer casing. So I'm going to need one tin, two tin, three tin. I need three tin. And eight iron. And the macerator. Eight iron. Generator, generator, generator. Electric furnace macerator is going to be another eight iron. That's good to know you can do that, too. Uh, so the force plating and the force hammer you guys are seeing is coming out of Dark Craft. And Dark Craft adds force ingots. It adds a lot of stuff, actually, but force ingots are really useful because they can be used in a lot of things. So it's possible that once I get a tree farm going, I can make a Dark Craft tree farm. That's how I like to get biofuel anyway. because dark craft saplings are really good for biofuel. And there's your smeltery. And the smeltery holds everything that's inside. So the controller faces the inside of the smeltery, like so. We need lava for our lava tank. Yeah. And I still need yet more seared bricks. Oh my god, guys. Seriously? Okay, so we need to make the drains and the, and the uh, casting tables next. So, I miscounted anyway. So I'll tell you what, guys. I think I'm going to finish this up. Uh, and by finish this up, I mean I'm going to go grab the materials I need off camera. 
I think we should be wrapping up anyway. I'm not sure exactly where we are in the recording time. Um, my time, my recording time here, it looks like, is an hour and a half, but I'm going to be cutting out a lot of that for posting on YouTube. So we're going to see what we're going to do. I'm going to get a few things set up and, uh, and set together, and I will be back either in a minute or after wrapping up our next episode. One of the two. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you shortly. All right, guys. So did a little bit of uh, mining, a little bit of digging and stuff. Got this stuff still here because I haven't actually upgraded these chests yet. But uh, let me morph into bat form here really quick. Going to head down to my uh, area down here just to show you what I've done. I uh, This is not a friendly place, by the way. <laughs> Usually when I get down here and start mining, it's, uh, it's a lot less of a pain in the ass, because directly this way is lava from the ladder. This way, as you guys saw me start digging out here a few minutes ago, there's lava here, there's lava here, there's a bunch of lava up here, but I actually managed, as I was digging, I was trying to sort of block this off as I was going, trying to see if I could get back here a little bit, and I dug into some water, so uh, hopefully this will, I can use this to get some obsidian going on, is what I'm planning for that direction, but... I actually did manage to start mining this way some. I'm only you, still running off my friggin' stone pickaxes, as you can see, but... Wow, there's just lava everywhere. But I did manage to dig this way a good ways. I went that way a good, like, I don't know, 100 blocks or so. This wide of a hallway, there's diamonds sticking out of the walls. There's redstone sticking out of the walls. There's gold sticking out of the floor and walls. Haven't gotten all the tin and all the good stuff out of here yet, but I got a lot of tin and a lot of iron. Uh, did some surface runs upstairs for some copper, just flying around trying to find some stuff. I should fill this in, actually, because I'm not actually ever going to open this up, I don't think. But this is just not a friendly place. <laughs> it wants to murder me horribly, I can tell you that much right now. They just This game's got it out for me, I'm just not sure what's going on. Trying to make a nice hardcore series and things are just going bad this whole time. So I just... I don't know. I got a little bit of digging done at least. So I've got some iron going on. So I'm going to show you guys what the plan is. I also went ahead uh, while I was off camera. I went and I got just a couple more pieces of sand and got the rest of this going on. This is a casting basin. Let me just pick this up really quick. I'll show you. Let me resume my uh, my Iron Man form. This is a casting basin. Uh, you just take the sear bricks in a basin shape. That's all that is to it. And this is a casting table. And this is just the reverse. It's just table shape. And what the way that this works out is you take your controller, which is right here. I, I placed it behind the basin. You can kind of see it there. Um, and you drop them in here, and it cooks everything up, and you pour them out of these little spouts that I put here. You can see I put spouts here. And they just come straight out here, and you can cast metal that way so that you can make metal tools. And what I'm going to do, probably going to be starting in this next episode or two, is I'm going to be setting this up so that I can make metal tools. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, what we're going to be doing is taking the part builder. We have to make the, First, we have to make the patterns for the things, and then we got to make flint pieces, which is made out of... Flint, obviously. You take these flint bits and you make the casted pieces out of the flint. And then you have to make aluminum brass, which is some aluminum and some copper. Which I got some of both going on here. A little bit of both. I need to get more copper because that copper isn't that isn't deep very well. Um, and then you cast those and they go around to make the shapes of stuff. So blah, 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 blah. Um, that's got to get done. I'll probably do that on camera. Right now I'm waiting for Xavier to finish up whatever he's doing. We are going to get some Guild Wars going, which I'm going to stream and record as well, so anybody who's interested in that can check that out. Um, so I'm waiting for him. As soon as he gets done with whatever he's doing, we're going to do that. Um, so I think in the meantime, let's go ahead and work on this smeltery stuff a little bit. Oh. Right, duh. So first, before we work on smeltery stuff, uh, we need to do some other stuff first. So let me get some of this iron here. This is copper, this is iron. 
need to make a bucket. So let's grind this up really quick here. I'm actually going to go ahead and grind up four. And this is a grinder. I made this grindstone off camera as well. It's not that hard. Uh, grind. It's just three stone, two cobblestone, and some of the surface quartz dust I found earlier, and that wood gear. So it's really it's 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 not expensive at all. And all this does is you can you 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 crank this by hand like so, and it slowly grinds this up into dust. So this is kind of a pain in the ass having to do this. See, you get the dust out of it. And you can just right you can just hold right click and mash it if you want to, but I don't know if it's actually a thing or not, but I heard somewhere that doing that you can break your crank. Which your crank isn't exactly expensive. It's only five sticks. Holy dick! Five sticks. Waste my five sticks. No. So what you do is you just right click it once and it goes around. And as soon as it finishes going around all the way and you can't click it anymore is when it's finished. As you can see in here, I'm on the last one apparently. Sweet. And then we can grab this and we can throw these in here. Looks like Xavier's finished doing what he's doing. So I'll be hopping on a Guild Wars in a minute here, but I want to show you guys, I'm going to finish, I'm going to do my frame off camera, I think, but I want to show you how I'm going to do the frame. So let me hit the bat for me. I'm going to go down here, I actually need to make this iron into a bucket. I bet I can just bucket out some of this iron right here. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing this. We'll take this bucket of uh, lava here. I'm going to have to go down there a lot back and forth. So I might as well actually leave that open. But I'm going to use this, I think, section right here. So that will be where I put it. But I'm going to block it. I'm going to want to block this off when I'm not using it because it's an either portal. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that looks good. So I'm going to build the frame inside here for my either portal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put put lava down. And then I'm going to grab another one, fly up here, there's more bats. And put another lava right there. this right there and one more lava at least for the base of it anyway one in the corner just like so and I'm actually gonna block this off for a second because I don't want to mess up anything inside the house not that there's anything to mess up I don't want to get water my carpet man and then would you do this 
Ah. Oh. See? And then we have the stone base. So what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to go down there and get another lava bucket and, uh, I'll put like a dirt block right there and put a lava right there and then put water above it to turn it into obsidian and then just do that all the way around the frame and then I have to cut into the top of the built top up here and I'll be cutting it up there to do the top part and then I'll be able to use a flint and steel um, to light it and then I'll have a nether portal. So that's the plan for that and it uh, shouldn't be too hard. So I'm actually going to get... I want to have an infinite water source in here, I think, somewhere. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. So uh, that's going to be it for now. I'm going to go ahead and just finish up that frame, and then I'll be switching to Guild Wars for a little while with Xavier. And so I'll be streaming that as well and posting it on YouTube when I'm done. So I uh, hope everybody enjoyed uh, the Minecraft for today. I'll probably be streaming some more tomorrow. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll continue building up with our hardcore game. So I will uh, catch you later. Those of you on stream, anybody that might be watching, just hang tight for a few seconds and we'll get going. Awesome.